Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge, Day 44. So yesterday we wrapped up with campaigns, and today we're going to talk briefly about the Task Manager. So Task Manager is our third icon down here. You can see it has the kind of checklist with checkbox. The other nice thing is here on your home screen, you can actually see at least a brief list of tasks that need to be completed. You can toggle here on the home screen of tasks the ability to go back and forth between opportunity tasks or contact-based tasks. You can also create a new task from the home screen, and that pops up this uh, basically pop-up to create a new task. It's the same one that you will see when we actually go into Task Manager, which we're going to do now. So Task Manager, third one here on the left-hand side. We're going to go ahead and create, open that, and you're going to see a list of kind of what's happening for today. So today I have a task associated with Frank Harris to get a birthday card. And then you can see I have four past due tasks that have not happened over the past two days. So I'm pretty sure these are KW agents. If you're on this list, my apologies for not sending you a birthday card. Um, and yet these are all people that have been associated with, in this case, the birthday smart plan and it's sending me a message that I need to order or send a birthday card for each one of these people. So I have the ability to actually click on the task and it brings up the preview where it says birthday card for Frank Harris. Send a handwritten note to Frank Harris for their birthday this week on their birthday, it's on the 12th, as part of the birthday smart plan. So it actually lets you know how did this task come about? Why is this in my task manager? It tells you that this is a part of the birthday smart plan. Um, I have the ability to see multiple pages of tasks. Should I have had more than five or ten, I can click through here and see all of those tasks. I also have the ability to toggle my tasks. So if I want to see what is due today, what's past due, what's due over the next seven or 30 days, and then what has been passed due for seven or 30 days past, right? And you can see all time tasks there as well. Um, I do have the ability, so let's just say I do all time. I can sort, so you can see that these are ones that are past due. This is the one that I need to do today. And then these are tasks that need to be completed in the future. So you can see there are 10 showing here. I have 14 total. If I click on this arrow, it'll show me the last four that are out there in the future in February or March. So I do have the ability to click on each one of these. I can click on the box to the left of it in order to complete it. And it says complete task. You are about to mark this as complete. You will not be able to revert this change. If I click on complete task, it'll then draw a line through that task, indicating that I have completed it for the day. If for some reason I know I'm not going to be able to get to these tasks, I do have the ability to remove them altogether by archiving them or the ability to snooze them. So if I click on snooze, I can say, hey, snooze this task for two days and then remind me then. Probably not the best for a birthday card because that birthday card is probably going to get there late in that case, especially considering this is already um, past due. But that's the ability to actually snooze from there. Top right hand corner. I have the ability to create a new task, so I can click on that button. I can put in the task name, and I can decide when that needs to be done. So let's just say tomorrow I do need to do it. I can put the task description in here, and I can actually add a hyperlink if I wanted to. I can also associate this task with a specific contact. So if I wanted to, I could put in associate contacts, search by name, and let's see, there's double A seller. Let me associate this task with my double A seller, and then I'll click on associate contacts. It's now assigned. So if it was a specific person that I was supposed to call or email or reach out to, I could actually assign that contact to the task. And then when it comes up tomorrow, it'll actually have that task record. So you can see, um, what do we do, phone call with, seller. Oh, here it is. Record the 66 day challenge. So if I click on this task, uh, you can see it actually says assigned to AA seller. So it actually shows me the contact who it's associated to. And because the contact associated is right here, I can actually click on that and 
it'll open the contact record of the person associated with the task, which makes it much easier for me to see their phone number, their email, whatever it need, is that I need to do within tasks. So that's the task manager and the ability to create new tasks, view tasks that need to be done that have already been done or those that are past due. You also have the ability to look at opportunity tasks, uh, which can be created and I'll show you how to do that tomorrow. And you can kind of see I have some that have been created that are significantly past due um, for a specific opportunity. So I'll show you what that looks like tomorrow. As always, guys, it's great talking to you. I had a fantastic class today in the Rio Grande Valley here in McAllen. Look forward to working with the agents of Harlingen tomorrow. And uh, as always, hope you're all having a fantastic night. Look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Thanks so much.